I'm thinking about entering a UKI trial, and I found this speed stakes course map that also has a couple of alternative courses to run, uh, courtesy of It's a Dog's World. I realized when I was setting the course up that the distances are just too great for me to consider running with Bell, so I was hoping to more or less stay in the vicinity of the red line and I would follow the blue line to finish uh, from the straight tunnel to 20. And in truth, I really thought getting from the straight tunnel to 20 would be the biggest problem we faced. However, I quickly found out that that wasn't quite correct. This is our first attempt. I took a fairly generous lead out. And then I stand there like a hood ornament, and it's not quite enough to get belt number three. This time I take a little less deep of a lead out. I get belt three, and much to my surprise, she doesn't come when I to the tunnel. I never saw that coming. And once again, we miss the tunnel. And it finally occurred to me when, when we were doing this that Stuart Ma maintains that in order to bring a dog into handler focus, you say the dog's name quietly. And of course, I'm kind of bellowing it. I finally remembered Stuart's words of wisdom, and it made a difference. She came to me. I wasn't happy with that one because it was way too loopy. So now we make it to the tunnel, and much to my surprise, she goes to the wrong jump. At that time, I did a much better job of being quiet, but then I didn't support her out to the jump that she was supposed to go to. I finally got smart and decided, okay, I'd never make it in a trial with that opening, so I'm going to try from the other side of the tunnel. That makes it easier to get to the tunnel, takes the other off course jump out of the picture after the tunnel. And then here, unfortunately, for some reason, I said come. And my body language said come. So now I'm just going to pick it up and see if we can finish this course. And indeed, really, the rest of the course was pretty much a piece of cake. And much to my surprise, I had no problems pulling Belf to the correct jump at the end. Okay, we took a break, and now I'm just going to try the whole course and see if we can get the whole thing one last time. Thank you, Belle, for being such a trooper.